Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Baby. So in today's video, I will be having my first impression review of the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. So this one is their newly released foundation. So from their Pretty Fresh collection, I got the shade Light 60N because I have a neutral skin tone. So I chose this one and I chose the shade Light even though it's a... Uh, a light shader than my skin it's because i'm acidic and it usually oxidizes on my skin so let's see if this one will do the same as my other foundation this one costs for 16 dollars for 30 ml of products or one fluid ounces so this one is ideal for all skin types hyaluronic acid known to hydrate the skin and support healthy looking skin and coconut water known to support hydration and skin softness so although this one is uh, good for all skin types uh, this one is a hydrating foundation but i know that this one is oil free yes it's oil free dermatologist tested and vegan and then cruelty free good for 12 months i think but it's not included in their packaging let me check no it doesn't have it doesn't say that it's good for 12 months but usually foundation is 12 months in average after opening okay, this is their packaging it cover on top and a glass bottle which is frosted just one tip cause sticker of the, on the top of the bottle as your guide and when you open it it's somehow misleading cause this one is frosted and yeah I think this one is darker the sticker of the light 60n is darker than the medium 85n if i'm not mistaken i'll make sure you check the swatches out there i'm sure they have it on their website if you have the pretty fresh moisturizer they also have a guide in their website so i will just be linking it down below so let's start with that application they have a pump right here and on the half of my face i'll be using an elf sponge and on the other half i'll be using my silene brush from sis Baka. shout out to you so let's check the oh so that is one pump and it's like watery so first i'll be trying the brush because Usually, the way I do my foundation is brush and then I'll be uh, blending it with sponge afterwards. But just for the sake of review, I'll be showing you the brush side and the sponge side. So it's easy to blend with. It has no scent, but I can smell something when I'm applying it on my face, but it's not uh, like bothering so this is the side where i apply the foundation using brush so i can say that it has a coverage like light to medium coverage on my skin type because i have a lot of breakouts and i can see skin imperfection but it even outs my skin tone and it removes the redness on my face so i didn't use primer just to test it out on how long will it last on my skin so let me just apply using sponge so i'll be trying to wear this the whole day so this is the side using sponge so i can see that i think the sponge has a lot more coverage a sponge application is much better than the brush so um i ha i still have something in my hand so i'm gonna apply it and blend the other half using sponge as well i will not build this up because i'm happy with coverage because i want this natural looking skin it's not sticky i will not set this with powder except for the areas where i will use concealer and let's see how this one will work out with you after I finish my makeup. Guys, so I'm back and it's already 12.35 in the afternoon. So maybe I finished my foundation like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I'll be updating you later. I just want to show you my final look. This is how I look right now. And there's no creasing, not clinging into my nose which I love. 
and it's on my nose still because other foundation usually just tear off here by this time even though I didn't I uh, use primer which I love it it makes my skin looks healthy and natural this is how I look on natural lighting it looks natural and it just looks my skin guys yeah, so i'm back and it's already 4 28 in the afternoon uh foundation is too light for me i think it doesn't oxidize so i suggest that you get the same shade of your skin so like that it doesn't settle on my uh dry areas and on the side of my nose and i like how it doesn't fade that much it's still there even though i'm in the oven in our stove for four hours so it's pretty good i like it and i know that this one is long lasting and i don't see any fade faded areas so yeah i like how the foundation stays on my nose because usually this area you it easily fades like in just one hour because <laughs> my nose is sweaty this part is always sweaty so yeah that's it for my review hope this video helps don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already need the notification bell to keep you posted on my upcoming videos this is me Bea, signing off reminding you to be a believer of your own beauty and be a blessing to everybody see you in my next video bye